Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC ICT paper 3 for the year February March 2021. We are going to do the data analysis task. The web page task and the image editing is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So the data analysis task is task 5. We will be starting from step 11. You are going to use a spreadsheet to analyze the annual donations given by each region. All currency values must be in dollars to two decimal places. Use the most efficient method for each task. Open and examine the file m21 income.csv. So these are the five and this is m21 income. You can open this file. Place the text last edited by followed by a space, your name, center number and candidate number, center aligned in the footer. Go to insert, header and footer. In the footer, you can scroll down. So click on the footer. In the center, you have to type last edited by, give a space, then your name, candidate number and center number. Save this as a spreadsheet with the file name m 21 ocean. Save this as a spreadsheet with the file name m 21 ocean underscore center number and candidate number file save as inside your folder you can save this as m21 ocean followed by your candidate no, center number and candidate number it must be saved as a spreadsheet save it as excel workbook save you can come back to the normal view delete rows 2 and 3 of the spreadsheet. So, these are rows 2 and 3, select both of them, right click, delete. Format uh, the spreadsheet to look like this. Just keep it here so that it's easy to work. Format the merge cell in row 1 to contain black 48 point text on a yellow background. Row 1 to contain black 48 point. So, you can see it is merged. It is merged from cell A to I select cell A to I, merge and center. It must be sans serif. I am choosing Arial, 48 point yellow background with black text. Format the merge cells in row 2 and the merge cells between A4 to a4 and A19 to contain black 18 point text on gray background. Row 2 merge cell is from cell C to I. Select these cells, merge and center. It must be sans serif, so Arial 18 point with a gray background. 
same formatting should be given for these merge cells. So, first let us merge these. You can see it is aligned in the middle. So, give alignment like this. And you have to give borders till row 22. So, let us give the borders, select all these cells and all borders. Now, in column B, all the text are right aligned that it has right aligned and all the numerical values are dollar width to decimal place. Right click format cells currency select English United States with two decimal place give ok. Next you can see this row which shows the total that has to be bold and with a grey shade. So, these cells select these cells bold and grey shade. Now, you can see annual total is merged so, merge and it is right aligned, same thing here also right aligned and merged. Both of them have a grey background and it is bold. And these are bold and centered, so center and bold. Let us select these cells and make them of equal width. Now, all the cells are of equal width, the formatting is done. And the functions in the appropriate cells to calculate the total income for each quarter for each region. Each quarter total is given in this row. So, for each quarter we have to find the total for each region. That means, here we have to find the total of these January, Feb and March for North America. So, we will give the sum function equals sum and select these cells. So, we can replicate this formula for the other region and the appropriate functions in column i to calculate the total income for each month and each quarter. Before that we have to find this for each quarter for each region. So, you can just copy the formula and paste it here, so that the sum is calculated just paste it. Now, we need to find the total for each month and each quarter. So, that means, the total of all these is the total for January and total of all these is the total for this quarter. So, we have to again give a sum function here. Now, you can replicate this
and the formulae in appropriate cells to calculate the annual total income for each region. Annual total income we have to find for each region. So, we can just calculate the totals for each quarter. So, you can give equals sum select these cells C 7 comma C 11 comma So, we need to calculate this for all the regions. So, see here we need to replicate the formula. Next one enter functions in the appropriate cells to calculate the average of the quarterly total for each region. Average of the quarterly total. So, equals average use the average function you can select these cells. So, this is the formula. Now, you can replicate this for all the regions. Apply appropriate formatting to the cells containing numeric values. So, make sure all the currency values are applied to all this numeric values. Save your spreadsheet, print your spreadsheet showing the formula. Make sure row and column headings are visible. So, first let us save this. Now, we need to show the formula. So, formulas, show formulas click at this corner and double click on the border of any column. So, that all formula will be fit properly. Now, we need to print the formula. Now, we need to print the formula showing the row and column heading. So, go to file, print, go to the page setup click on sheet, we have to show the row and column heading. Then page orientation is landscape, contents of all cells are visible that we have already set, page orientation must be landscape. So, page orientation is landscape, give ok. Make sure that you have entered your name, center number and candidate number. So, this is the formula sheet which will show the formula. Next print your spreadsheet showing the values. Make sure it fits on a single page, row and column headings are not displayed and contents are fully visible. So, now remove the formula, go to formulas, deselect this. Now, double click on one of the columns, so that everything is visible now. Now, you can now we need to print all the values it is fitting on this page and row and column headings must not be shown. Go to page setup sheet, remove this, give ok and you can see all the data are fit on this page. Now, you can print this. So, this is the end of the data analysis task. Please keep watching my channel. Thank you for now.